Welcome to the Lake Show podcast presented by Jack in the Box. It's a weekly deep dive into the biggest stories and topics surrounding the Los Angeles Lakers. I'm Allie Clifton, joined by my Spectrum Sportsnet co-host, Chris McGee, and our Laker insider, Mike Bresnahan. Hi, guys. How are we doing? Hi. What do you got for us, insider? Uh, a lot of, lot of uh, angst mm. among the, the Laker fans these days. Oh, Will no. they? Won't they? They're going to be 9-10? Sure seems like it. It's a couple tough losses. I'm staying out of Twitter right now, or I'm sorry, X, as it's called. Yeah. This is uh, this has been a tough few days, guys. There's, there's no no getting around it. No what, doubt. What, what about for you? Like cough of 2024 still going? Or what? <laughs> still rolling. Still, still rolling. going strong. You're still the the reason behind it. Still, still my can't, fault. Can't figure out how that got here. Still so my I'll fault. Figure that out for those that are curious how Geeter and I share a cough now. Yeah. Um, By the way, I am in the clear. I am. You sound great. Excuse me. Thank you. I'm yeah. I'm healthy. You don't have a cough. It's gone. What was your remedy? <clears throat> 29, 30 days. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of James's uh, Nuka honey. Oh, okay. Brett had his for 100 days. 100, Brett? You had the 100-day cough, Brett? Did you know that? He did. He said three months. Is that what you were, you were never here for a while? Okay, just checking. <gasps> so we Brett's, got a lot of attitudes so in this studio Brett's right Brett took now. a shot at Brett for those that are uh, listening at, at home or in your car. And uh, <laughs> he said, uh, is that what you were? Is that what you were in the gone? And Brett said, I was, I was here. He was here. Brett. He was here. He did go to Hawaii. He, yeah, he went to Hawaii. He had some and half then, days uh, in there, too. Did you have another kid? No kid. Okay, <laughs> just checking. <laughs> you were gone for a while. Back. He yeah. didn't say, did you take your kid? He asked if you had another yeah. kid. Just... Yeah, he's, Are you uh, sure you don't want to show your face? <laughs> we should mic Brett, the guys Ritz up. And we should. We should mic the guys up. Ritz and Johnson. We have a nice little side. Yeah, we yeah. have. No. Nacho he, says a lot during the show. We like on the Nacho Pat McAfee show. Yeah. That's what we need. Brett could be like Fritzy from uh, the yeah, Dan Patrick show. And, and yeah. Howard Stern's got all his yeah. people running yeah. around. Baba Booey. Pat Baba McAfee. McAfee. <laughs> yeah, Pat McAfee. You guys would be great. Yeah. You'd have to bring one topic to the show every day. Do you think you guys can handle that? What would yours be, Nacho? No what, idea. What Ali. game okay. are you playing this well, week? Well, well, we we have to give Nacho advance warning. Apparently, yeah, got to. Uh, Can't just put Nacho on the spot. He's not even paying attention to us. And that's the thing that is not good for coughing, by the way, is laughing. I, so, by the way, that is well. factual. Nobody have fun. So up. true. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, uh, nobody I am doing laughs. something. I think I, I think something that's fun on Saturday. What's that? Got a little reunion at my uh, college, Cal State Northridge, because my college volleyball coach is retiring. Mm. So Amazing. that should be pretty fun. Brez remembers those days out in the yep. valley. How many years? He he was the men's coach for a long time at Northridge, and then he left in the late 90s after I was gone, and he took the women's job at Cal State Bakersfield because Northridge lost their program for a few months. They ended up getting That's it back. That's right. But he couldn't wait at that time, so he left and took a women's job, and then the men's program came back, thank God. But uh, anyway, he came back as a Northridge assistant some years later for the women's team, and uh, then he became the head coach for a couple of years, and now he's retiring. So Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations to him. Very, uh, Are very... you a part of it at all? I was just told today I am. <laughs> Figures. Nice. <laughs> nice. I was, uh, you an MC? Nominated by about 50 guys on a text chain. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, during between games two and three, we're going to uh, – I'll read off, like, a list of accolades, and then they want me to, like, share something for, like, three to five minutes, which is kind of weird between, like, sets in a volleyball game. But You have to do it in front of an arena? Yeah. What? I didn't think I had a choice. Is that at the Matadome? Deep? Well, I, I didn't like I, I didn't I didn't like chime in at all. Hmm. It was just like, oh, Geeter should do a Geeter. So then people were like, oh yeah, that's perfect. And I was like, what if I just don't text? Will I just be clear? Yeah. So I or was, will they assume that you're in? Yeah. So then uh, I kind of like texted the one guy on the side. I'm like, I mean, do you really need me to do it? He's like, I, th- I think it'd be cool. He's like, I don't want to let John down, so I'll do it. Wow. Cool. You're such John a John Price, player. great guy. Covered him as a reporter I mean, at the he's LA a, Times. A mentor of mine. Great, and great dude. Person I love, so yeah. I, I got to be there for him. Yeah. How do you, you deal with peer pressure? Not, not, not great. Not great. <laughs> <laughs> you? I thrive under those cir- yeah. circumstances. I feel like, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. a sucker. Do you, after the um, ceremony, down. Are, yeah. are you going to go to Black Angus? Kind of relive some of your your. Your no, 90s? it's funny you no. should say Black Angus, though. Did yeah. have my 21st birthday there. No. Yeah. Uh, Gary Ballin. I don't know if you know this name. No. He played guitar and sang songs at a place called Pickwick Pub in the Valley wow. for years. And it wow. was a place that people go, and he would just sing all kinds of songs. He'd tell you, he would say, throw a song out, and he would know it. People would come up on stage and sing with him. He's actually going to be, I don't know how old he is now. He's got to be 
up there, but he's going to play at the after party. Oh, nice. We're going to go to a place, and he's going to play. Gary Ballin. Can Allie and I come to the after party? Yeah. Cool. Wow. If Allie's still not coughing. If you're not coughing, I'd love to have you. You gave me the cough, so what does it matter? <laughs> I'd, love, I'd love to have you out there. Having will said you drive? <clears throat> this is a quick note. Um, Allie, when was the last time you were in the Valley? Yeah, will just, you drive? Just curious. Will you drive me there Saturday? To the Valley? <clears throat> yeah. No. Do you oh. know where the Valley is? You've oh. been here five years now? Six years? Yeah. You do? It's really far away. Okay. okay really far it. away, especially at it's peak traffic hours. Yeah, I mean, not on Saturday. Guido Ke- and I spent <clears throat> some formative years in the Valley. Yeah. I went through K-12 through in the Valley. I think my cough's back because of you right now. <laughs> You're welcome. I swear. it's, it's You know when back. someone, our audience finds that funny? Yeah. They really should be a part of the show. Um, you know when someone yawns and then it's contagious? That is That's 100% factual. Hmm. Okay, fun fact. Because my entire hometown of 9,000, 10,000 people of Vanderbilt, Ohio know who you are. Because um, they all follow you They all ask social me media. kind of You're your the background. You, they all ask me what? <laughs> <laughs> kind of your like background, like... Theater play basketball, the theater this, whatever. And I um I always say that you played at Ridgeview. I have no Ridgeview. <laughs> is I don't even know what that is. Right. You made up a school. Ridgeview is a place that get mic'd up. Is Brett. in my hometown <laughs> that people I'll have to tell you about it off. Ridgeview. Air, Ridgeview. I'm like, yeah, you played at um California Ridgeview. Oh, because North Ridge. I got it. <laughs> Northridge, got what it. could be more disrespectful <laughs> so to the Harvard of the West say, Coast? I know, That's so I apologize. Shout what out to your coach. My the bad. Harvard of the West Coast, Cal State <laughs> Northridge, <laughs> also Northridge. known as the Ridge that you call it, California Ridge View. <laughs> Ridge View. <laughs> wow. Yeah, sorry. So that's a little fun. You, I feel like that's, that's worth a post from you later. No, no. Set the record straight. I'm going to actually lead off uh, when I'm introducing John. <laughs> you know, welcome all you Ridge View fans. <laughs> If you drive me out there, I'll do that. No, I will not be driving you out. Oh, let's go to friend. the Valley. All right, guys, I think we've stalled enough. All right, Shout out to your off. coach, though. Cool. That's John exciting. Price. Congratulations. Good Absolutely. Good um, we've stalled enough. Man, the last couple of days, mm. last couple of games for the Lakers have they been have tough. They have really sucked. You, you have not the yelled, team, the, the, the last few days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have yelled at me in text message. You have um, showed me emotion. Excuse me? I didn't yell at you. You didn't think that was yelling? Do you want me to read these text, you? text messages on air? No, I just I wouldn't. There know. was a conversation about Ge- when de- off tweets. season comes. Will Geeter and I be friends? Are we going to take a break? What do we need to do this off season? Whenever that comes. <laughs> well, we need. By the way, we need to learn how to mic up the guys that are doing the podcast. Right. With us. Right. Yeah. We need to learn C- that. Could, could we do some yeah. Geets mean tweets? Could we? Um, Ooh. Yeah, that would be good. That would be good. I thought you yeah. said Geets meets. Mm. Geets meets. Well, Geets. That's, that's, mean. A, that's a different part of the show. Yeah, the last Geets. few days have been tough on people. Yeah. Really tough. I'm actually in there with you. So uh, let me read you some things. With just three days of games left in the NBA regular season, 19 Mm. out of 19 out of 20 teams in the playoffs and playing have yet to clinch their seed number. Really? Oh, the Clippers might be the only one. I was going to say Clippers and Mavs. Although Dallas can still pass them, I think. Then I think the Mavs are at least for sure clinched. They can still shuffle. So so Boston. Boston's figured out. Oh, Boston. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy stuff. Lakers, two games remaining uh-huh. on the road versus the Grizzlies and on the road versus the Pelicans. Of course, uh-huh. ninth in the West at 10 games over 500, which is why when you were texting me the other day, I really wasn't on the same level emotionally with you because I just don't understand. Oh, how do you mean when I was texting you saying like during the Minnesota we, game, we have to win this game? Yeah, we have to win this game. We have to win this. Game. And I'm yeah. like, Geeter, in my defense, <clears throat> you've been yeah. telling me this for three months yeah. and you're like, fair. Oh, I said it was the game of the year. Game of the year. I mean, over I told and two over. days in a row. Yeah. Two, two games in a row? Because they were. Yeah. 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 Uh, listen, the wind was out of the sails for the Minnesota game. Yeah. And everyone found out LeBron was sick, and at the end of the first quarter, AD is not coming back. That game was lost right there. Like, the guys didn't have the fight. They did, Minnesota smelled blood in the water. Nas Reed uh, became Ray Nas Allen. Reed. Like, things happened. Yeah. I Made mean, like 18 threes. Yeah. Nas Reed got a shout out at WrestleMania. That's true. A guy, should, guy had a poster <laughs> that just said Nas Reed. True story. Crazy. So... Then the game of the year happened. Then that was Golden State because there was still there was still a path to the eight if you won that game. And I've told you guys a million times, I believe that for them to make a run, they have to be in the 7-8 game. Mm-hmm. Going into the Minnesota game, there was still a path to six that I truly believe they would get to if they won that Minnesota game. So to lose both and realize that most likely – I'd bet so much money on it, you, you're you going to be in the 9-10 game. That game, to me, is not the path for success. That's just me and my truth. 
Yeah, there's just there's just so many problems with being in the nine ten versus seven eight, which is going to be the reality mm-hmm. probably ninety eight percent now. And you, you and I have been on this group text where for a couple of weeks we've been like allocating percentages. How do we feel? I got up to seventy five percent yes that they were going to be able to get out of the nine ten, and they did for a minute. Yeah, and it looked good for a minute. Um, and then AD played twelve minutes in the Minnesota game, left at the end of the first quarter. That was it for him, and did not suit up at Golden State. So. I think what it shows is how important, how important the importance that AD carries for this Laker franchise. And yeah, they've done okay without LeBron. I think they're six and five this year without him, which isn't great. But you know, without AD, I mean, they I lose the game. Me. Remember, he got poked in the eye a month ago at Golden State. Yeah. Played 12 minutes in that one, they lost. Played 12 minutes again against Minnesota, they lost that one. Did not suit up the other night in the rematch against Golden State. 0 for three without AD. Yeah. In, in really crucial games, Allie. And that, that, to me, just underscores his importance, if it wasn't obvious already. You, you know what another stat is that sticks out to me? When you want to break down, because there's a lot of ways to break this down, right? Like, they're going to end up in the 9-10 game, and here's why. And you can give 10 different reasons. You can talk about the you know 3-13 and 13 they win, or 3-10 and 10 after the IST. You can talk about lineups, mm-hmm. all that stuff. But you can break it down. This, 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 this puts it so in perspective for you. 0-6 oh since the All-Star break mm-hmm. against the four teams you're chasing. Yeah. 0-6. Oh How about that? I saw that the other night. Two and four, and you're in the you're in the seventh spot in a chance for six. How about that? Yeah. Just two and four. 0-6. Oh 0-6. Oh That's why they're That's here. That's a killer. Yeah. If you want to break it down even more. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. And you think killer. of two of those games in which you've been without Anthony Davis for the bulk of them. Uh-huh. Games in which you definitely need Anthony Davis, the mm-hmm. Golden State Warriors. Mm-hmm. You think of the 18-point lead against the Kings. Mm-hmm. You think of just the very slow yeah. start against Phoenix. Yeah. And listen, like, the Phoenix one, you can kind of, like, it's after All-Star break. It was Phoenix an early, was hot. early tip. Yeah. yeah. But then they also lost to New Orleans in that time. That's so. right. I mean, you can yeah. even go back to January when they were 6-5 and five at Crypto.com. <laughs> to me, that, that was... And That's about, a big one. That was big. They were 7-8 and eight in the month of January. Yeah, that, that was a bad one. And they had so much momentum in December and just could not carry it over. They had the tough road trip, which they always do around Christmas. And they're like, all right, but they're going to be home in January. There's, there's plenty of winnable games. And they, six and five, one, one of those losses was a Clipper home game. But still, you're at your home arena. Six and five. I mean, to me, that's when the seeds of discomfort started to sneak into the season for, like, Laker fans and, and us Laker followers. That's when it's like, huh. Yeah, that, 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 was not, that was not a good run right there. You know, we put so much emphasis on the end of the season, and there's so much spotlight on these games because it was the same as last year. Remember going down the stretch last year for six weeks? Every game felt like a must-win. Mm-hmm. I remember freaking out in mid-March on a Dallas loss because it was like you just thought yeah. that, that you know, now, now you can't get six. That, <laughs> it, we put so much emphasis on it, but really, you got to look at the whole year. I mean, yeah. you got to look at that stretch at the IST. you got to look at the poor performances to start the year individually, some injuries, lineups, all those things play a part. Now you're here because if you play consistent basketball at that time and you take care of business in January, like you said, Brett, just be mm-hmm. a few games better. These, you're not stressed right now about these moments. You're, you're stressed about maybe four, five, six yeah. mm-hmm. and shuffling. Yeah. But you're in a different spot. These games, it's like you can't afford to have AD out. Can't afford for Braun to get the flu. Can't afford for D'Lo to have two poor games in a row. Like, to still be without Jared Vanderbilt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The other thing, too, I... That, that, that's, that, that, that's hurt them big time. Yeah. No. As we're recording this, we do not have an update just yet on <clears> Anthony <throat> Davis, correct? Correct. As we're recording this. So, obviously, the team is in Memphis on Friday, and then yeah. Sunday, their season finale. Honest question. The team is be more 2-4 and four without AD this year. We understand his value on both ends of the floor. Yep. Do you rest AD to make sure that he is 100% healthy come Wednesday, if they're in that 9-10 game? Oh, the, the, like the, the last two regular season yeah. games? I think I play Andy him Friday. did not play in that last game versus the Grizzlies. Fair. Yep. I think I play him Friday. You still have a chance at hosting the 9-10. Uh, I play that's, him Friday, and yeah. I see where we're at on Sunday. Yeah. You play him Friday? I, I would play him Friday. Okay. I would play him Friday. Even if he's not 100% with the eye. Okay, that's different, I guess. That's the only thing I'm thinking of because, as we all know, no matter where I, they I, end up, if you're not healthy. I don't know the extent of that eye injury. They haven't told us a lot. 
I just know it's it hurt. I know it wasn't a good injury. I, I know there was it was an issue. Mm-hmm. I know that like people just oh a headache. It's more. It's not just a headache. It's like it, they just your, said nausea your vision, was part of it. Your, yeah. yeah, I mean, there's a lot that goes into this. So and the, he's and not the just one missing was... the game because it's like ah, I don't feel good. He's in. He got hurt, mm-hmm. and that thing is it's worse than I think we thought. So. I, I, I think he's going to be okay, though, and, and, and if he is, and, and, and then you play him. I, I just think that night he thought he couldn't couldn't play at the level that he needed to. Yeah. You know. And if the first one was a corneal abrasion, like, there is... 100%. That's not just getting hit in the eye. No, there's... Yeah, there's no... That's damage. Yeah, there's no... Uh, there's no question he was... The one against the Warriors was that first time around. It's kind of what started this whole thing. Mm-hmm. And Brezzi gets hit a lot there. He does. How's it not a foul on Kyle Anderson? I know. Like, is someone going to lose their job Ridiculous. I... And, you know, and James Worthy appealed to him on, on the post-game show. He said, hey, maybe it's time for goggles. You know, maybe it's time to, to think about those. Have you heard anything, Brez? I'm curious. I, I... Well, he was asked after the first eye injury a month ago against yeah. Golden State. And he said, nah, you know, I tried that in high school or college. He, he had an injury in the eye or yeah. whatever. And he said, not for me. You know, I don't, he, he said he was joking. That's, it's a bad fashion statement. But, I th- you know, they get fogged up easily. Even James has talked about it. Worthy wore him pretty much yeah. his entire pro career, right? Even James has talked about, yeah, they, you get, they get fogged up. It's a pain. You have to figure it out. It's a process. And does AD really want to be wearing goggles with, with every every game being so important? Yeah. You know, maybe, maybe curious, long term he, th- he thinks about it. You know, Big Game brought this up. The goggles for him, he got that scratch in the eye. Yeah. That changes things. Where AD's hurt... Is it almost like the mask that guys wear? Maybe. That's what I was Maybe. wondering, Because the goggles are here. You know what I'm saying? He like, gets hit everywhere. Does the goggles help here? Yeah, right. That's just what I was curious about. Because, yeah. like, he, he's gotten about, hit on the nose yeah, a Dwayne few Wade, times. Dwayne uh, Wade posted something the other day about when, when he broke Kobe's nose oh, that's in right. the All-Star game. That's right. And then you guys were talking to Kobe the next day. And, like, yeah. he's like, no. Being D- so, D. Wade posted it. was really cool. But Kobe had Remember Kobe? Had he a, hated it. Hated it. But threw it off. Threw it out. Yeah. But, like... So it can affect, if it's if it mentally rattles you, mm-hmm. I, I agree with AD. It's tough. Yeah, it, it, it's longer longer it, term it solution. It takes a maybe. while to get used yeah. to. Maybe not a long while, but as Brez said, like <laughs> we're at the end of the runway, yeah. Yeah. so you can't really like yeah. get used to it. You either can unless he has to wear it. That's, that's correct. It. Plus, plus it covers up the unibrow. He's got that thing trademarked. You know, that's good maybe point. you don't want to so, mess with that. Good point. Here's a good one that be more just threw at me. The Lakers posted their um, team photo day. Photos were today. AD is in it, and there's 10. There's a carousel of 10 photos. And the first one, it's just a normal shot uh, of Anthony Davis. Dave McMenamin then over on X, because if you scroll through these photos. Can you just call Twitter? You then <laughs> have a good photo of AD that looks to be in good spirits. So if you're looking for some sort of optimism. He's in good spirits. Right? Yes. Not wearing a mask, not wearing. Yeah, which I understand you're not playing basketball here, but just but, being around light, being around. Yeah, you know, <laughs> he, he's going to play on Friday. He, he's he gonna, look. We've yeah, come. That, we've reached that point of the season. Don't I, laugh. I, I mean, <laughs> by the way, like, I, I hope he plays, but it might not matter, right, guys? And that's, Memphis is a dead team too, by the way. But no, but I'm saying it might not matter, Brez, in terms of like. I mean, obviously, they need to win these two games to have a chance, but, like, it's such a slim chance. I know. Let's see what happens tonight Yep. as we're sh- recording this. We'll see what happens, mm-hmm. and uh, maybe we'll feel differently. And, by the way, the big game last night, Geet, Denver has pretty much sewn up the top spot in the yeah. West. That was a great game. So Jokic if, down the stretch. Oh, my God, yeah. I mean, they, they showed exactly why they are defending champs. Uh, by the way, Brez, remember we're at work and we thought the Suns – we're just going to roll because yeah, they keep the winning. Clippers were up six I know. with eight minutes I know. left in the fourth. I know. And then they went clip. The, the, I can't figure out the Phoenix Suns. I thought for sure the Lakers are going to pass them. They have a tough schedule. They won all these big games. Yeah. And then they tank at home against the Clippers, and then they almost lose out here against yeah. the Clippers. Bones Highland went nuts. I hit like 47 for the Clippers. points. I was, I was pulling did for I, them. Did I hear yeah. last night on the Heat Dallas broadcast that Dallas is the number one defense since March? Oh. You I, know, I, I think I've heard that somewhere. They, they made yeah, some They're right. rolling. I like what they did. They, they added P.J. Washington at the trade deadline. Yeah. They, 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 dra- they drafted Lively uh, out of uh, Duke, very good center. They also added uh, uh, Gafford from Washington. They have some good shot blockers, Gafford, big like, men. That's where OKC, I think, made a mistake, man. By like, not getting them. It just, yeah. That's the one thing I think they're missing. Like, yeah, back a big. They're a little thin and young. And, yeah, um, I don't think I'd put money on OKC to get out of the I, list. I, I think the best first-round series, 
Clippers. Clippers, Dallas. Dallas. Total, I know it's the only one for the third time <laughs> in five years. In, any, in either conference. But but because Kawhi, I just, Kawhi, I, th- I think he's going to, I mean, I hope he's. Yeah, right. I don't know how yeah. bad his injury is. Maybe he's just getting ready for playoffs. And But that series, going to be nasty. That's good. And wherever the Suns finish, I don't think I want to face them if I'm OKC. You know. I still think they're going to be six. Yeah, that's probably OKC okay like, territory. I just yep. feel like New Orleans is going to lose a couple of these games. I think so, too. Yeah, I, I don't really say that because, you know, like back-to-back on the road with the Kings and Warriors, those are tough games. And those are must-wins for the other teams, too. And then they have they have us on Sunday. So, like, I feel like New Orleans, them going 3-0 doesn't sound like that. I just don't see that happening. So, I mm-hmm. think the Suns. Right, well, no. Suns-Kings tonight? Yeah, either tonight or tomorrow. Yeah. Thursday night? Yeah, I think Let's you're see, right. There's a lot yeah. of games that matter. Yeah. So so yeah. You you got you got you got to play Pelicans uh, Kings tonight. You got to play AD um, yeah. on Friday. You just do. Just see how he is. Yeah. The wild wild west continues. As of right now, the teams that have clinched playoff berths in the West: Dallas, Denver, Clippers, Timberwolves, Thunder. April sixteenth through the nineteenth, the NBA Play In Tournament, which is where the Lakers will be. You know who's good, Allie? Who? T Wolves. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are good. T Wolves are good. And Towns is They're adding back. a hell of a, a signing when they're they get good, uh, Towns team. back. It's like like a giant free agent it's, it's joining you. It's not like just say you got seven and eight game and you won. It's not like you're doing backflips because you're playing the T Wolves. Like yeah. the T Wolves are really good. Yeah. Uh, it's just not Denver. So like you're a little yeah. bit like, okay, let's do it. That's a great point. I, I explained it to someone the other day. Okay. So if the Lakers get uh, seven or eight, you know, who, who do you want them to play? Not Denver. They've lost eight in a row to Denver. OKC, but you're, you're, you're right, though. Yeah. You, we don't want that. Right. OKC for sure of those three. 100%. Young, untested. But, but but a lot of Laker fans, Ellie, are like, oh, they want to play Minnesota. I don't know oh, about the that. The three OKC for sure. Yeah. Denver's yeah. going to win the number one seed, right? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, unless they... So huge the Lakers win are going to have Minnesota. them in the first round if they get out of the play-in. Yeah, yeah. Denver's the one seed right now. Yeah. With two. Yeah. So Lakers, if... The, if I, you, I've been to... Go back and read the text when I was yelling, apparently yelling. No, my point here is, is why are we loudly. still? No, my point is, is why are we still conversating about whether it's Timberwolves or Denver? It's oh, Denver. Well, no, they're only. It's, a game. it's probably Denver. There's it's, still a couple games. There's still a couple games played. left. And anything yeah. can happen, but they're game up. Yeah. What's the tiebreaker situation with them? I'm uh, I thought, well, I don't know now that Denver. Minnesota won that game. has it. Better, you, better division record uh, or better conference so record? Yeah, it's not over yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. there's a little bit. More. There's a little bit of wiggle room. Okay. But yeah, more wiggle room than what the Lakers have. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Minnesota's got to play the Suns, so it's not like they got. Yeah, they can finish third. They've got work to do. (sighs) Yeah, Yeah. I know. I erased our text messages. Yeah, Nuggets have uh, the Grizzlies and the Spurs, so that's that's probably probably not. (laughs) By the way, Ali was was was, was he typing? (laughs) Was he in all caps? Is that why he was yelling? No, just like Ali. No, wait, yeah, need, that what? right there. When yeah. someone says my name, <laughs> I just I'll, told someone this yesterday. Or I'll say like Allison. She knows I'm like I'm like this oh, is Allison. complete BS. Like, got it. I don't want to say what I said because, you know, sometimes it's I was telling someone that was asking people. where he went to college, and I said Ridgeview. I was telling them that <laughs> the communications and the text messages that we have, and I read out this text message, and it was like halfway through the second one, and he said Allie. And I was like, and I just hear the name. I just hear how he's writing it. And I'm like, he's yelling at me. He's yelling. He's mad. He's upset. Well, like, I'm commiserating with her is what I think. The commiseration you know station. Is yesterday yeah. I called him to check in on him about something. And he goes, why? What's wrong? He goes, my wife just asked me if I was okay, too. I'm like, you know what? Reach that point. I just know. <laughs> just gotcha. All right. Like, show fans, remember, you can be a part of this show each week. Feel free to send us your Can't questions. Can a guy be in comments. the tank once in a while? We'd love yeah. to hear from you. It's Did been you a rough know week for Laker fans. encourage me to come here six years ago that we'd be this close? We're taking six a quick years break. Ago. When we return, it's around a bucket of break. Got you this job. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Lake Show podcast presented by Jack in the Box. If you're enjoying the show, you can check out more original podcasts from our Spectrum News journalists on the Spectrum News app. Just head to the podcast section to listen to the latest episodes. You can download the Spectrum News app on the App Store or, or Google Play. Uh, Allie, have you ever heard of the Fat Boys? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Fat Boys. It was a rap group back in the day. No. Be more and I 80s. always go, Brr, stick them. I don't know if you knew what that uh, what that was going no. on. No. Okay. Yeah. You guys run around here saying there's a little tape, crap, yeah, little know. tape cassettes. That was before your time. Did you ever know that there was tape cassettes or was it? Yes. Oh, I don't know. I mean, you're young. Just so you all know, he just texted me saying, hi, best friend. And now he's treating me like a... <laughs> lying about my text messages. <laughs> what, what, oh, what, I got receipts. What, was he yelling at you when he did that? Uh-huh. Was that a yell? Was he yelling? Trying to make her feel better. Okay. No. Just like, trying to Good. show that I have a nice saying, side kindly. to me. I have a nice side also. <laughs> Guys. Okay, what sorry. is that? What's the group called? Bat Boys? Bat Boys. Brr, Can you give me that? Em. Or do it again? Brr, stick them. 
We should change that to be our intro music. Yeah. Um, Ellie, have you heard of the got- Beastie Boys? Yes. Okay. Can you name one of their songs? No. Dude, I was okay. walking off the okay. set. Let's check. Come on. I've heard of them. Okay. Good. That's a start. W- what do they sing? You um, got the right to find my line. Yeah. Know, what? Like song. Say it. You got the right. Oh, the Travis Kelsey thing? <laughs> that's Beastie Boys? <laughs> Yes, that, yeah, that was, sure. that was after the Beastie yes. That works. Um, okay, we've got some news. The judges accept it. Oh, we've got, got some news, which oh, let's by go. now, you guys probably all have seen this, that uh, AD is probable Okay. in Memphis with the eye contusion. LeBron James is questionable, as he has been all season. Okay, okay. so that's not... So that's nothing new. Correct. Yeah. AD's and been questionable for like months, so I think they're making a statement by saying he's upgraded the probable... So that's that's a good sign. That's good news. Yeah. That's good news. Yep. Yep. Great. Seventy five percent chance, chance the Blazers players. beat the Warriors. <laughs> no. Who was their last game? Pelicans. <laughs> Clay and Dre are out. Oh, Any chance? Right. No uh, chance. No chance. No chance. I was looking at the Blazers roster today. Their lineup because I need a couple guys for fill-ins for the end of the fantasy season. I had trouble recognizing people. Yeah. I picked up some guy named du- <laughs> Dubernay or something like that. I, I have no idea who he is. Uh, du- Duve. They oh, have yeah, Pelicans, Blazers, and who left? Jazz. Jazz. That's right. Okay. See, so this is what happens, guys. This team ropes me in. I, and clearly. I just feel like they still, it's like Jim Carrey and Dumb and Dumber. You're telling me there's a chance. I just feel like there's still a yeah. chance, even though. It could happen. Someone put me out of my misery. Well. Don't look like you. Yeah, don't get all excited. Allie's very, there. she's smiling. Yeah. <laughs> I just had a spiritual awakening moment. Yeah. Oh, can't wait to hear this. When you see 333, three, three, when you see numbers. I just oh, had a yeah. whole moment. Was it three, 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 three across the whole thing? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Um, all right. Time for a round of bucket or break. No one cares about bucket. that. Yep. It is presented by Jack in the Box. In season tourney championship game should definitely count. Bucket or brick. I actually just saw this thing today that in season tournament champs should be automatic bids to the postseason top six. Oh wow. Listen, I, I don't know how they could sell that to the rest of the league. Uh, uh, as a Laker fan, of course, I would love that. Don't change it now. You've already screwed us. Yeah. The fact <laughs> that that game didn't so count. So true. By Too the way, late. that game should have, and I've tried to tell everyone, that game beating Indiana Pacers should have counted as a win, and they had not played that team on their floor yet. It should count it, count it as a win, and Indiana doesn't get to play the Lakers at home. Yeah, that's How, what I said. That was my idea. Why are there not smart people in the green room? Why can't there be people in the boardroom saying, Adam, Let's do this. Hire me, NBA. I will fix things for you. And I'll fire the guy who didn't call a foul on slow-mo. <laughs> I'd like to see you in the NBA front office, Geet. I, I would like to see that. No, honestly, Matt, yeah. I, I would yeah. be pretty good in the front office. I'd be like, no, that's stupid. That's a great idea. Let's roll with it. No, you're right. an idiot. No, you're awesome. Promote him. Right. Raise. Yeah, like, it's an easy job. Fire them. Yeah. <laughs> idiot. Done. No, done. Yeah, like, Out. back down Barney. to the JV team. Yeah, like, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Be a, yeah. Um. I don't think it should count. Why do you think our newsroom like, runs in, so in the flawlessly? Standings? <laughs> in, in the standings, is that, is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, yeah, he yeah. just said, why do you think our newsroom room runs so flawlessly? Because yeah. <laughs> I'm in charge over there. Yeah, you really are. In terms you're of like the de facto personal boss. relationships. Well, I handle yeah. your emotional stability, yeah. so. I don't have yeah. any say, what, but where do I, I get charge. credit for? <laughs> 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 uh, I don't think it counts as a game in the standings, but here's if, if you win the... You t- don't think it should? No. Um, because then it gets into... Brett. Records this. will fall because someone's won, you know, 74 games and lost nine. And, you know, but Dude, here, Nacho no. isn't even paying attention. He's pissed. Yeah, he, he not this game shouldn't over count. There. And that, that's uh, that's Max over there. Allie, he's are you new. mad at him? He's too? new today. Uh, One thousand percent very mad. Be more, are you pissed? Like, are you guys mad no, no, at the control? No, no. What do you mean? Shouldn't count. What, so, but, what? But, it, but it should count. You get a banner. No, nope. shouldn't count as a yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about the banner. We were we were kind of looking at the banner funny from from the start. Here's where it should count. That is your tiebreaker. It's your chip. If you win the in-season tournament, it doesn't count as a regular season game, but it's your tiebreaker. If you tie Against anyone, who, though? if you tie anyone, you get you win the tiebreaker. So right so, now, sorry, like, Golden State. Sorry, it's 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 a it's a get out of jail free card. It's a get so out of the tiebreaker. Basically, that free. game on Tuesday should have been an automatic okay. Laker W. So if you were in the NBA go. office, I'd be like, Brez, it's a pretty good idea. Put it on the board. <laughs> I wouldn't a, kick yeah. you. Out. Yeah, that's a raise. <laughs> yeah, like. I'll take it. My team, We're rocking your race yet, but let's do like a couple extra vacation yeah. days, something but like it, that. But it's sh- yeah, that game should have counted. It should count. And I'm bothered. I don't know about it in the standings. It didn't matter at all. That's the thing. It's like it never happened. I know. But that's the stupidity 20. of it. It didn't yeah. happen. That to me is dumb. But if you bring your binoculars to the game, you can see the little in-season banner. Up and there. they say, well, yeah. the guys got paid. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, 500k. That's good. So does some other guy. You know, even yeah. losing. I don't know. Right. 
It's the it's the be all end all tiebreaker. Congrats. <laughs> you throw that ball at me. <laughs> Lakers versus Warriors Tuesday was a play in preview. What? <laughs> <laughs> Lakers um, Warriors Tuesday was a play in preview. That's a tough one. Bucket. This you is think where I would drop an F bomb if this you, ship were allowed to. Like do, I just do, do you think you it'll know be how many have so, one and two throw I'm, already? Just in this show alone, yes. like fifteen. Um I'm just bummed. That, yeah, it's a yes. It's the playing game, it's nine ten and everyone knows it. You think it'll be up there? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Um Bucket or Brick, the next one. You can take this one, Brez. Bucket Lakers or Brick. Home? Yeah. I th- really? I, th- I, th- well, I, think I just don't think the Warriors yeah. are going to lose those games. The math was <clears throat> looking so good before they played Minnesota, yeah. and now the math doesn't look good. It's. I it's... don't understand how the math can go so drastically the other yeah. way. Two losses in a row, and, and the home. Warriors hold the tiebreaker, and they're yeah. playing weak teams. So then you're telling me yeah. it just didn't look good to begin with. <laughs> I told you. It wasn't good I laid enough. it out for you in that text. You yeah. thought I was yelling why it was important. And then I, Allison, <laughs> Allison, right, and then I came. No, no, Allison. Then I went into the news, uh, the makeup room. She's ignoring us, Geech. And we talked about it again in the makeup room. She's going to set up some posts on X. Do you remember the makeup room? Okay, I can't say the first one. Yeah, this, stop it. Stop reading my text. But <laughs> listen. Are, are you reading mean, mean text? Dude, I sat next to you in the makeup room. <laughs> you have issues. You and all your grumpy you friends in there. <laughs> we, need to, we need to speak <laughs> up. Karina was show. grumpy. I'm just saying, like, I. <laughs> Karina's never issues. grumpy. Okay, Karina I'm never was not grumpy. grumpy. Karina was yeah. not grumpy. That was, that was wrong. She was not. Absolutely not. Yeah. Were the grumpy people? You, no. Did you just call Karina grumpy? <laughs> no, I was kidding. No, Karina was not. Jay Hare. Well, you know, occasionally was. people are grumpy in there. By the oh. way, we have to talk about Jay I mean, Hare's dribbling. <laughs> sometimes you can be grumpy in there. I can tell when you're not in the mood to talk. Don't even go there. <laughs> okay, Brett, sorry. do you Brett, think I'm grumpy? Brett's grumpy today. Brett is so mad at us. Yeah. He's like, if they don't stop We keep interrupting. He's like playing a candy crush. He's like, crush. this show's gone 20 minutes too long. He's so pissed at us. <laughs> I stare at his camera for the entire hour of this podcast, and he has yet to move. Yeah, <laughs> and he tells me I work a half day. Well, you, know, you two are Cleveland. Right. You, you two are Cleveland Brown brethren. She gets to go you, after this. You a little though. upset about? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, Allie gets to go home. <laughs> you mad, Brett? <laughs> this one is strictly a bucket. Shout okay. out to Michael Cooper. Bucket. Oh yeah. Headed to the Hall of Fame, five-time champ with the Lakers, bucket. defensive player of the year, in '87, <sighs> eight-time All Defensive Team. Bucket. With. Bucket. First words in the best way possible, emphatically. You know what my favorite part about that? that ball. My favorite part about Coop, he's the only player ever to win the Defensive Player of the Year award for the Lakers. The Lakers have had some really good defenders. I mean, Shaq was immovable. I mean, they've had so many good players. Uh, Anthony Davis the last five years. I mean, how has he not won it at least one of those years? I mean, Man, Coop 2020. Is the only guy. I know, I know. That Still was his award. Yeah. Anthony DeCoupo edged them out. Yeah. And he won both, MVP and Yeah, yeah. Yep. That hurts. Still. Yeah. So yeah. to be the he only was second though that year. Second. Yeah. Damn. To be the only DPOY in Lakers history. That that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's my favorite. I bet he gets third stat. this year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah probably get second. All right. Yeah. Last one. NBA champion. This year, bucket or brick will come from the Western Conference. Brez, toss me a ball. I have to bucket it because I can't have it coming from the East because you know who's going <laughs> to win it in the East. Oh yeah. Good answer. I yeah. can't have that yeah. with you on my on my conscience. Yeah. I can't have that because yeah. I wanted to win bucket and Just brick. bad morale. It's bad. It's bad for everyone. Yeah. Put yeah. it out there now. And there's Keith, there's no one in the East. They're coming out of the East, right? Yes. No one can stop them. It's funny. A lot of people will say to me, Philly, <laughs> I'm just not believing in Celtics until I see it on the big stage. But here's the deal. It's not the same Celtics team. They added Drew Holiday as a champion, mm-hmm. Porzingis, so they're different, mm-hmm. and they have the experience. I, I do think it's their time to get to the final. Just gave Holiday a big extension, too. They, they like him. <clears throat> the line of the podcast coming in from the makeup room, from our girl Karina. <laughs> oh, Karina, I said you're not! <laughs> Texting gre- Greeter. Geeter and I right now saying, WTF, take that back. Geeter, you're a brick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Karina's not wrong. Karina, yep. And by the way, I was quick to say Karina was not in a bad. You period. were quick to say that. Okay. Yeah. You still said it, though. It's different between men and women. <laughs> Watch out. Okay. We're trying to build up a story. Rick. And, like, there's some fabrications in that story. It's what we yeah. do yeah. as a species. Okay. <clears throat> what kind of species? We're building up the story of you being in a bad mood. If you and everyone guys in the makeup were an room. animal, what would you be? What would the male species be? Species. And then we'll wrap this up. <laughs> What would you uh, guys be? Uh, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna decline because <laughs> I, I have an answer. I'll tell you off the air. I'm not. I can't. You know, I can't put that out there. Why? Because I just, I can't, I can't. I'll tell you when we're off the air. Yeah. Just like you're gonna Brad, talk you to me. Weigh in? Just like you're gonna talk to me about my problems. Are you, are you stop hint- coughing? Are, are you hinting that the male spe- species is snakes? Like, are you looking for an animal that we are? Oh, I wasn't even thinking of that. Yeah. I'm just saying. Donkeys. What I, I like animal would you guys be? <clears throat> <laughs> uh, peanut gallery nacho thank you for listening to the lake show podcast <laughs> presented by jack what in the box animal would you male some of us have be? a show to do yeah Allie gets to go home <laughs> is that a dead bird it's a donkey what is flying a donkey are you guys donkeys? Donkey. yeah <laughs> thanks to uh, all of you do you know what they call donkeys right craziness jackasses there you, there you go. go i'm allowed to say that i learned did uh-huh. you ever see jackass the movie Allie? no oh Thanks to you for listening to the Lake Show podcast. Do I look like a jackass watcher? No, it's, it's hilarious. By Jack Johnny Knoxville. If you like what you hear, leave us a rating and review on your favorite podcast. You could have been app. a jack, jackass you when you were. You. Oh, wait, I have seen that yeah. show. They do when, crazy when he things. was at Ridgeview, he could have been a jackass. Hit us up on X. You know where we are. Lions. Yeah. We, we are like lions. We are lions. Wow. Got the zoo noises all queued up.